Nigel Cecil, calling things out as you like it, especially for his fair-minded friends. Greeting Chakabatis! Hello to all my fair-minded friends! Cobblers to your fair-minded friends! And cobblers to you too! <laughs> Hello Chakabatis! Thank you for joining me, moi, Nigel Cecil, as an entertainer. What, what, Hillary? <laughs> yes, forget all the introductions. Just say welcome to this little bit of info entertainment, which directly or indirectly concerns show business. Now, this particular one will be seeking to explain very simply, <laughs> in a short space of time, the difficulties with artificial intelligence and how they impact on show business, creatives and actors. That's why we've got the thing behind here, artificial intelligence. And you may ask, why have I got the T-shirt on that says SAG AFTRA, the Screen Actors Guild of America, an American Federation of Television and Radio Artists? Well, that's because there was a motion at a recent representative conference, Equity, which had concerns expressed about artificial intelligence. And some of the members there said, hang on a minute, the horse has already bolted the stable. We need action now. And then, of course, there's the Writers Guild of America and their strike looking for better recognition, quite important, Hillary, for their creative work and also protection. And you may have seen in the media recently that the Screen Actors Guild and AFTRA have also said they're going to go on strike in America as well and say, come on, we need better recognition. And they also highlight the impact of artificial intelligence. Now, recently, I think it was last week, Hillary, the Equity General Secretary, the trade union in the United Kingdom for actors, variety, entertainers and other creatives, the Equity General Secretary and the Equity President went across to Los Angeles and showed their comradely support for the Screen Actors Guild and after her. In fact, have we, got, have we got a few pictures? Yes, we've got some pictures of that. And also, look at the second caption and what it says. The second caption highlights also the importance of artificial intelligence. And it also has something which appeals to moi, a slogan, acting together for a better future. Now, Hillary will confirm to everyone, as will my fair-minded friends, that I prefer negotiation before confrontation. And indeed, the idea of radical progressives saying we need slogans that show a resistance. Well, no acting together for a better future. Now, whether that sort of inclusive slogan has impacted on the current situation remains to be seen. But it was announced yesterday that the proposed strike that was due to start, I think it was on Friday, yes, is being postponed by the Screen Actors Guild and AFTRA until July the 12th, to enable further negotiations to continue. So hopefully there will be some good outcomes from that. But now to the Writers Guild of America and this particular video, we're simply going to focus to give you the idea of the impacts of artificial intelligence on script writing and how the script writers can be ripped off completely by artificial intelligence. And so it can be actors. But we'll discuss that in a future video. But now let's just have a look at the Writers Guild of America and script writers generally. Because moi, I just thought to test it out. And I'm really a novice at these things, Hillary, a novice at many things. I thought I would get one of those apps, a free version, a trial version, 
and just type in Nigel Cecil Fair-Minded Friends. That's all I typed into this app, Nigel Cecil Fair-Minded Friends, no other information at all, and just press the button and say, go on, show us what you can come up with. And this was the result. Nigel is a passionate supporter of equal opportunities, diversity, and inclusion. He believes that everyone has something valuable to offer and is committed to ensuring that all voices are heard. Nigel works with a group of like-minded individuals who are dedicated to promoting fairness and equality in all aspects of life. Together, they support initiatives that empower people from all backgrounds to reach their full potential. Through their advocacy work, Nigel and his friends aim to challenge harmful stereotypes and biases. They believe that by working together, we can create a more inclusive and accepting society. Whether it's volunteering, donating to worthy causes, or simply spreading awareness, everyone can make a difference. Nigel and his friends are committed to taking action and making a positive impact on society, and they invite you to join them. What do you think? Now, I don't know about you, but I suspect you might think the same as me. Nigel Cecil, fair-minded friends, that was all that was put in, and that came back. Now, what's that going to do for scriptwriters and protecting their creativity? But indeed, where did that programme get the information from to produce that from just those Nigel Cecil fair-minded friends being inputted? Well, the answer is, well, it's highlighted, in fact, by a recent tweet and a sort of media crash event for Elon Musk. Here's what Elon had to say in response. Those of you who use your Twitter accounts regularly will have had first-hand experience of Elon Musk's views on data scraping. And presumably, Elon, uh, as a business entrepreneur, has probably thought, well, if there's any data scraping going to be done from Twitter, <laughs> then it's going to be done by Elon Musk and no one else. So here is something else to highlight. Were you aware that if you publish something on the internet, even on your social media, that that information, uh, those words that you've created, could be scraped? Indeed, there are agencies in the background that are trawling the internet all the time to scrape information so it can be used by other activists in artificial intelligence. And it's happening globally. It's happening now. Uh, and this is why uh, the strike by the Writers Guild of America highlights a feature that's important to everyone. And so it's good that everybody in show business globally, Equity and the Screen Actors Guild and AFTRA, and indeed uh, the unions from Canada and hopefully elsewhere, are all getting together to tackle this particular aspect of artificial intelligence. And I hope this video, this first one on artificial intelligence really, gives you some idea. And I think the next one, Hilary, is it going to be uh, that, 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 that guy from OpenAI? Yes, I think we'll be talking a little bit more about how it impacts on actors and look into it and how we need to tackle this particular topic of artificial intelligence with global urgency. <laughs> global urgency. Uh, uh, and let's hope there's a good outcome for July the 12th. Uh, what, Hillary? Ah, <laughs> yes, Hillary always likes me to finish with my little Joker Rooney. So please join me as we have our Joker Rooney. 
regular viewers to Nigel's channel, moi, will know that Hillary tries to choose a Joker Rooney that bears some relationship to the topic we've just been discussing. So, Hillary, uh, what have you got for me? Let me have a look. Why can't I? <laughs> I'm sorry, Hillary. No, I, I can't do this one. It, it mentions the Equity General Secretary. I, I can't say something like that. No, no, we'll have to have another joke, Hillary. Yeah, yes, please. Uh, you've got another one. <laughs> plan B. Right, what's Plan B? Ah, here we go. What's the opposite of artificial intelligence? <laughs> what's the opposite of artificial intelligence? Natural stupidity. <laughs> Natural stupidity. Oh, do you like that one? Well, I'm going to leave you with that slogan I like to finish off. That inclusivity. So until you join me again, I've got my strawberry and we're going to say acting together for a better future. Please join us all again. Acting together for a better future.